Today's video is about ADHD versus indigo children and adults. Many of you know I wrote a book about four years ago exactly on this subject for my second year project in grad school and I have been sitting on this book for a long time now. And I think I've waited so long to get it published because number one, fear. It's a controversial subject. But number two, timing. More so timing. And now I feel is the right time. I think there's a lot of stuff out there now, a lot of people waking up to the truth about who they really are and seeing that um, being different and not conforming is actually a good thing in many circumstances. So I want to really talk about this for a minute because What's ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder? If I were to say from my perspective, it's attention dialed to a higher dimension, but let me get there in a second. So ADHD, when you're, you procrastinate, you're not able to process emotions, you have a lot of emotional stuff, you think different, you learn different, you're not really able to conform. These are all symptoms of ADHD, but let me show you how they're actually symptoms of an indigo child who's been misunderstood. So indigo children, what are they? What's an indigo? An indigo is the color of your chakra for your third eye. So your third eye is your intuitive psychic center. You're really sensitive energetically. You're really creative. You may have a lot of spiritual experiences at a really young age that you can't really describe. You don't have the language for yet. You may look at a long division problem and do it completely differently than the way that they showed you just because instinctually this is how you figured it out. Your brain thinks differently. You don't conform to the way that other people say you should do them. You do them your own way. And emotionally, you're really sensitive because you feel a lot of stuff. You're kind of, you're empathic. And so that's hard to process a lot of these things at once. So I think ADHD is a bad rap for an indigo child. I think medicating and labeling so that I understand it. You want people to have an easier time in the system. What I would prefer is change the system so you can have an easier time. Don't change the person to fit the system. That's really just left-brained anyway. Indigo children are right-brained people in a left-brained world. They're people that are extremely in tune and need the support to bring that out. So, does ADHD exist? It exists because it's a label that was given to a lot of people now because they simply have symptoms that aren't like everybody else and they don't fit the current system. But indigo, in my opinion, is the positive label for people who have gifts that also have issues with the current structure, whatever it would be. A lot of us don't like to balance our checkbook. We don't keep everything super tidy at all times. We definitely think outside the box and have interesting ideas about things and perspectives, but we're also really, really smart, IQ-wise, in a very sort of different way. It's not going to be the conventional way. It's going to be unconventional, but it's going to be really necessary for the expansion and enlightenment of our world. It's, yeah, it sounds even weird for me to say that sometimes because I don't like to be so outside the box. But I like to make people understand or help people understand that outside the box is actually the new inside the box. We have to start being more united and, and accepting more diversity as normal and one. And if we could just start implementing these new understandings into the old system, we could really evolve a lot and raise the consciousness of this world. So anyway, that's my perspective. Does ADHD exist? Yeah, but it's definitely not a disorder or a deficit. It's just a name for people that are misunderstood in the current system. And it really needs to be kiboshed. I really feel that as a coach, I, I don't know if I mentioned this, but 90% of my clients are indigo. And they didn't, maybe didn't even know it till they came to me and then said, oh my God, everything you say makes sense. This is it. There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing you need to fix. It's just the way that you are and you need to be empowered and you probably never got that information. You've probably been misunderstood. You've probably thought there's something wrong with you. You've probably thought I just don't fit in. I'm living on the wrong planet. And the truth is you're perfect for your purpose. And the truth is you're here to be the change. And all you have to do is own that and know that and be that. And hopefully where more voices like this come forward and come together, we can be that change. So 
I hope you like this video. Please comment and share if you feel, and I'm excited to share my Indigo book with you guys soon. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.